What's good y'all, Rudd's here. Today's soap review will feature the upcoming soap by the club, Cirque du Club. This soap will actually be uh, renamed The Big Top when it's released just after the new year by the club. I was fortunate enough to win this uh, through a random giveaway on the uh, club's Facebook group. That's one of the uh, perks of being a member of the club is uh, quite often Peter Charkalis will run um, random drawings for several soaps, upcoming and already released soaps for its members. Um, this was shipped out to me in a timely manner uh, when I won it just before I left for my uh, short-term assignment. So I'm, I'm finally getting around to reviewing this. Um, again, it'll be renamed The Big Top uh, once it's released. I'm not sure if he's going to change the uh, logo on it, but um, certainly like the logo itself um the club is a um brand that many of you know you pay a membership fee uh, and you get 20 percent off and you also uh, all your orders and you also get uh, access to exclusive products uh, they also have an arm called ariana and evans which retails to uh third-party resellers and is available to uh everyone without a membership same base, two uh, companies, uh, one goal. The products can also be found other than direct on their website at West Coast Shaving and smallflower.com. All right, so the scent on the uh, upcoming big top, as you can imagine, is uh, to represent the smells of a carnival. As such, the uh, scent notes feature caramel popcorn, cotton candy, earth, honeysuckle, and wood. This for me is a uh, another one of those smile scents. As uh, I'm initially met with the starchiness of the popcorn, um, followed by the sweetness of the caramel and the uh, cotton candy. The wood and earth notes really balance the scent out quite nice and ensure that it's not cloyingly sweet. Not something I'd wear um, in a professional setting or on a date, but I would wear this casually and I certainly uh, enjoy the uh, intention of the scent, if you will. Having been to uh, circuses and carnivals throughout my life, I can tell you this is quite a nice representation of the uh, atmosphere at a carnival. As with uh, nearly all products I've reviewed from Ariana and Evans or the club, the uh, scent strength on this is strong both off of the container and remains strong once lathered. The only soap from wet shaving that uh, shares similar vibe to this is the um, retired B&M scent, Diamond. So it uh, won't be a surprise to all of you who've been around the channel for a while now, um, knowing what I think of the... Uh, Club's newest soap base. This is the tallow and goat milk formula that was recently reformulated. It's on the uh, firmer side of the uh, firmness spectrum. Still loads very easily into your uh, brush fiber of choice. The soap itself is very thirsty. Uh, demands quite a bit of water to uh, get it properly dialed in but when you do get it properly dialed in you'll find that it resembles uh, Greek yogurt it has a really nice density to it as well as um, 
a little bit of volume. The slickness of the uh, tallow and goat milk formula is elite. Both primary and residual slickness. Easily can uh, maneuver a straight razor or a DE razor or an SC razor over your skin without any visible lather. And as mentioned previously in my reviews of this soap base, this is the uh, best post shave in the business in my uh, estimation. Leaves my skin soft, supple, and uh, feeling well hydrated long after the shave. Given all those uh, metrics and experiences, you'll recall the uh, shave score for this soap is a 96. And for a similar uh, lathering and shaving experience in terms of performance, I'd suggest you check out the grooming department's Primus Towel or Talbot Shaving. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, Drama-free shave with the uh, club, the big top, as it will be called here in the future. Um, face is really soft and supple. Uh, probably will forego an aftershave product here for a little while. Let the skin really absorb all this uh, skin food that's in the ingredients. Hope you'll have a chance to check this out after the uh, new year when it's released. And... Uh, Hope you all have a Merry Christmas if that's your thing. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.